Steve, what message did that send out? <laughs> Oh, I think it set out that you know we're one of the best teams in the in the competition, probably the state, and um, those who try to say otherwise have obviously got it wrong. You did it easily with a great start again after just 20 seconds. Yeah, look, the boys were pretty keen to turn it on today, obviously, and um, the, the message in the in the sheets beforehand was in fact to go out today and play our football and not to worry about external factors that we can't do anything else about, um, and all we can do is play our football. And uh, I think today they did really well. You could have scored a few more too. Yeah, you? look, I think so. It's always, you know, te the ten-man fact is always an interesting thing. Um, we scored early second half, and, and we hoped that perhaps we'd have scored a couple more, and we had the chances. But for ten men, they, they certainly had a few chances second half as well, and um, our, our keeper probably helped us keep a clean sheet today. So six 0 again, you know, score six goals in the game, we're going to be happy with it. So is the team ready for next week? Oh yeah, I think so. Um, it's obviously going to be another big game again. Um, we've taken it to them um, in every game that we've played. We've beat them a couple of times in recent, uh, in the last 18 months, and we think we can do it again. Um, they're certainly hungry for it. They're putting in the effort at training, um, and they're certainly putting in the effort on the park on weekend. So uh, hopefully next week uh, will be our chance. Did you learn anything about South Hobart last night? Yeah, look, I mean, quite clearly, Clarence could have uh, at least taken points off them or, or beaten them, and. Um, I think we've uh, probably spotted a few areas that we can concentrate on. Are you going to look back on that one-all draw with the Olympia here where you made a good punish there? And that's obviously oh, the game look, I mean, two points. Yeah, you know, there was a one-all draw against the um, Zebras the last time we played them. You know, there was one nil lost to South. There's always if babies and buts, you know, when you go back after the end of the season. But the reality is it's still in our hands. We can still win this uh, premiership. And uh, that's what we've got to go for now. We've just got to go there and take it. Great for goal difference as well today. Yeah, look, I think they've probably got a seven goal better goal difference than us still. Um, and um, next week it's just about the three points and nothing else. Um, and once we've got those three points, uh, then you can look at what the, what the uh, equation is for the next two games and uh, hopefully we'll be able to, to rise up to whatever that challenge is. Talking about the victory league, have you had to sit down and chat with the players about their futures for, for next no, season? No, my, my message to the boys is simply that we worry about this season um, and uh, they ought to sit back and relax for a little while and, uh, and look at next season when this season's over. Um, all of them are capable of playing in a victory league and um, they'll all get offers, I would think, and uh, it'll just be a matter of um, what transpires between now and then. There are a lot of um, unknowns in what sits underneath the victory league and um, I think there's a long way to go before the victory league actually gets started. Do you think the boys were a bit pumped up and they wanted to make a message today and that's why they went out and did so much? No, well? I don't think so. I think they... I was worried that it was going to be a factor that would um, take their mind off the game, more, more, more so. And uh, I think they just performed today as they performed quite a number of times this year. Um, you know, they've taken the game to the opposition and um, got off to a really good start and then kept going with it. So what's your future? You're already being linked with other clubs. <laughs> yeah, well, look, I mean, I don't know, to tell you the truth. Um, I'll, I'll follow my own advice and worry about next year when the season's over. Um, I, I don't know that I want to coach anywhere else, so um, uh, I've had a couple of um, links with this club before and I think this one's uh, been pretty good for us all, um, and I don't know that you can replicate that in another uh, atmosphere. Three goals and a couple of uh, assists, I think, Adam, a, a, a good game for you boys today. Uh, yeah, it was a good game. Good game to catch up on goal difference for South, which is what we need to do at the moment. And obviously, next week's the biggest game probably in the last couple of years for us. So, hopefully, we're going to win it there as well. Are you in a good position for the Golden Boot as well? Uh, I think now on 23 and Andy Brown's on 20, so. Uh, yeah, it's nice, but I'm not really worried about that. I'm worried about getting the points on the board, getting the title. More important. What's the secret behind this business about scoring goals in the opening minutes? Do you work on this or what? <laughs> I don't know. It, just, it happens. I can't. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's like the last four games here we scored in the first minute, so I'm not sure. Just a bit of luck. How's the mood in the camp at the moment? Obviously, some big news during the week. Um, have the boys talked about that at all? And, and um, I guess there's, there's plenty to do uh, for the rest of the season. Yeah, obviously everyone's disappointed, like a whole club wise, club wise as well. But um, nothing we can do, and we just um, need to um, buckle down and take out the title and prove everyone wrong. Do you think you were putting them in at one end? Pitchy did a great job keeping them out at the other. Yeah, yeah, he put off some brilliant saves. That's why he's the best keeper in the state. So yeah, some brilliant saves. 
in terms of the, the victory league, have the boys sort of sat down and talked about maybe sticking together for another season? Or uh, you don't no, know? we haven't really, no one's really discussed anything yet. We're just going to finish off the season and then see where it goes from there. Has your phone been ringing off the hook? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no one yet. So. Congratulations on a great game. Would you be pretty disappointed with that performance, Amon? Bitsily, Matt. Bitsily. Um, really woeful performance and, and no reason for it. No reason for it, you know. First ten minutes, we're out of the game. End of story. Results-wise, might, some people might be saying that you should be in the victory league next season. Oh, me or, or zebras? Oh, just lots of people around the blogs and all sorts of that. Me or zebras? <laughs> zebras. Ah, oh, right. Mm. Mate, look, it, it's got nothing to do with the results, the victory league. You know, as far as I'm concerned, every team was asked to put a proposal forward. We put our proposal forward. Our proposal was accepted. The teams that didn't put, you know, did put a proposal forward, obviously it wasn't good enough. It's got nothing to do with the results. I mean, you've got to feel sorry for White Eagles, but... Eggs are eggs, mate, and if you don't come up with the right business plan, well, you don't go anywhere in this world. Hey, Mon, you did more than enough to score a few goals there. The brilliant goalkeeping kept them out, but has that been the story of your season? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, Pitchy had a great second half. Uh, we, we just counted, well, Nick and I lost count of how many shots we had on target. We hit the crossbar twice, we hit the post twice, but that's what he's there for. That's what a goalkeeper's there for, to, to stop balls going in. Pitchy did a great job today. You know, we, we can see the sick, but you can't blame McKenna for too many of them. Bit of bad luck as well, you the crossbar a couple of times as well. Yeah, second half. I mean, the, the, the boys, there was a couple of boys played well in the second half. You know, Jai David had a good second half, Ricky Self come out. Uh, Ryan Smith was, was a better second half, but just not be committed all year. How do you explain that slow start, Eamon? The, I mean, as you said, virtually game over almost you know, after four minutes. Um, how do you explain that slow start? Is it just a case of the boys not being switched on? Or? Well, that's exactly right. I mean, you, you know, it's, it's the old, old cliche. You, you never stop running until the, until the referee's blown his whistle. We stopped. We're appealing for an offside decision. Whether it was right or wrong, whether we got it or we didn't get it, well, we didn't get it. And we got a goal scored against us. Why? Because players stop. You can't afford to stop. What did you make of John Foley's send-off? Did it was correct? Oh, look, yeah, it was correct. It was correct. He, you know, he, he got two yellows. Two yellows make a red and a story, and, and that's in anybody's language. I mean, I thought you know, the trouble is was with some referees, they're quick, too quick to give that first yellow card, and then obviously, well, they've got nowhere to go after that. But I'm not condoning the referees. They've got a job to do, the same as we've got a job to do. I'm not looking to blame anybody. That was a bit of frustration from John Maney, that oh, result yeah, as well. Yeah, of course it was, definitely. Can you still make the four? Um, yeah, of course we can. What, that fat lady's just starting to hum, but she's not singing yet. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thanks very much, Adam.